Hey, and welcome to Solar Ad Marketing uh, video. As you're searching for that, uh, I've got some great stuff that I'd like to share with you, some insights. Um, first off, a little backstory. Um, so Solar Ad Marketing, marketing in general, in fact, uh, let's take one step back. You can do free versions, you can do paid versions. Um, and obviously there's a free and paid option on Facebook. You've got your profile or you've got you know, the ad side of things. So you've got a free and paid version for Facebook, Google, print. You know, if your web website ranks on Google for whatever reason, whether you're any good at SEO or you just fluked it, um, that's free advertising, right? And if you in print, um, you can get into publications, maybe places that you've worked, people that you've worked with, you can get into publications there. Uh, and on the paid side, um, you've obviously got, just going to whiz through these quickly, you've got Facebook ads, you've got the groups, you've got pages, you can go through Instagram. On the Google side, you've got AdWords and YouTube and um, print side, you've got print media and publications, magazines and um newspapers, direct mail, billboards, etc., and all that stuff, right? So first of all, if you get any value from this video, please like it, please subscribe, hit the bell button for future notifications. I really appreciate that. Um, so the main thing about ad advertising uh, and marketing is you want to get a return on your investment, so ROI. So you want to master the ROI, getting a high ROI, so $1 in or $2 out, or $1 in and $10 out, whatever it may be, you want to be making a profit. And you want to do that in the shortest period of time possible. All right. So for argument's sake, let's say that they these three ways that we're talking about today, there's many different ways, obviously. Um, so let's break it down for uh, this conversation in this video. But Facebook ads, direct mail, and Google ads, they might sit somewhere around here. It's going to be unique for each individual. It's going to be unique for each business and product, all of that stuff. But for argument's sake, let's, let's say they sit around. Let's say Facebook ads, good, heart, good ROI. Um, can take you know up to a month, maybe a few months, maybe into the years, depending on the business and the person to master. Google ads maybe not not so much of a higher, uh, a higher ROI, depending on how you run it and what you know. It's all that kind of stuff, right? What if I told you there was a, a star performer which sits around here, much quicker, much much quicker way to master and get the same. You know, you can get a really high ROI on this method, and it can be done in days. Yep. <laughs> and you could probably master it within months because there's many, many less variables. You're cutting the corner of learning all these ad platforms, right? Um, what is that star performer? So very straightforward. It's email. Um, solo ad marketing predominantly done through email. So therefore, we're going to be talking about email marketing um, in particular. So that's where it sits. It takes days or months. You get a higher ROI and you've got less to think about. Uh, and think about it for a second. When people are doing this, when someone's running Facebook ads, when they're running direct mail, when they're Google ads, what essentially are they trying to do? They're trying to do this, right? They're trying to get someone into their email. Yes, they might push them into or get them to um, land on a sales funnel or on a landing page and, and then take them into a sales funnel and maybe sell them something straight off the bat. But that doesn't happen that much, um, particularly for the most people who are marketing. What happens is they've got to try and give them value up front and get their email. And then this, most of the sales is done in uh, through the email follow-up. So the fortunes in the follow-up, probably heard that before. So why is email still so powerful in 2022? Quick nine stats here. There are over 4 billion daily email users. 64% of small businesses use email marketing to reach customers. What, nearly one in five email campaigns is not optimized for mobile devices. Um, think about that as an opportunity for you and I. Um, not, mo not optimized for mobile devices. That's an opportunity there. Marketers who use segmented campaigns achieve a much, as much as a 760% increase in revenue. Another opportunity, so segmenting our lists, uh, once we start to build our list to gender, age, um, eth ethnicity, and how we talk to each individual, we can speak to them really uh, directly, depending on that. 35% uh, of marketers, which is also an opportunity, right? 35% of marketers send their customers three to five emails per week. Are you emailing enough? 78% of marketers have seen an increase in email engagement over the last 12 months. Um, we're talking from 2022 now, so this is current. Four out of five marketers said, uh, said, said they'd rather give up social media than email marketing. I would too. 20% of retail, e-commerce and consumer goods and services companies are personalizing emails based on gender, race and ethnicity. We, took, we touched on that a moment ago. 74% of baby boomers think email is the most personal channel to communicate with brands. So getting personal is really important because then people get to like, note and trust you, particularly that massive uh, baby boomer 
um, age range, right? So email is a star performer, no doubt about it. Just very quickly, some general email marketing statistics and best practices. Uh, the global email marketing market was valued at 7.5 billion in 2020. It's projected to increase to 17.9 billion by 2027. So that is a massive growth over the next seven years. Uh, more than 306 billion emails are sent and received each day. Wow, could you tap into any part of that? Active email accounts surpassed 5.6 billion in 2019. Uh, across all industries, the average email open rate is 19.8%. The click-through rate is 11.3% and bounce rate is 9.4%. 78% um, of marketers in 2020 said email is important to overall company success compared to 71% in 2019. So it's growing how uh, effective um, people who use marketing think email is. Uh, last few points is 31% of business to business market marketers say email newsletters are the best way to nurture leads. Something to think about. Uh, the US spent over $350 million on email advertising in 2019. Brands that always include an A-B test in their emails generate uh, a return on investment of 48 to 1. Not bad, hey? Globally, Fridays see the highest email rate, open rates, uh, nearly 19% uh, compared to the lowest open rates of 17%, which come on Saturdays. Okay, you can see our emails are star performer, right? Particularly solo ad marketing, because we can take an email, package what you've got, package what you wanna say, package your ad, and put it in an email and send it directly to a list. Um, not any random list, this is a targeted list. So you can find people who've already done the work to collect a group of people who are interested in exactly or near enough what you have to offer, your amazing product, service, whatever it is. So when knowing all of this, you've only got two problems to solve, okay? Which are, one is which list, who's got the list, which ones are good, which ones aren't, and two, how to stand out. How do you stand out when you send that? So it's a bit like fishing. You, you know, which pond are you going to put your fishing rod in and hopefully get a bite? Uh, and, it much, and it comes down to, you know, which bait you're using as well, right? So uh, if you stuck a, a piece of um, chocolate in and tried to fish, I'm sure a lot of fish wouldn't, wouldn't want to eat that. But if you switch that bait for maggots, uh, which generally most uh, av everyday fishermen uses, they'll get a lot, you get a lot more bites. So how do you, uh, which pond to put your rod in, so to speak, to try and get a bite? And how do you stand out? How do you stand out? Because there's gonna be a lot of other people with, if it's a good list, there's gonna be a lot of people with their rods in the pond, so to speak, trying to gain leads and trying to pick up email addresses from there. So that's your two problems, which list and how to stand out. So I'll give you a few ways that you can solve those problems. One, uh, which list is you could look at and keep your eye on Facebook ads, direct mail, Google ads. So the ads that you're receiving and you're seeing, you could see the marketers that are advertising to you and you could see something that relates to you, what you do and your product or your service. Um, and you could say, right, that person is building a list. You could try and contact them. Now, if they're a big market are spending hundreds of thousands uh, a year or even a month on marketing, you may not be able to get in contact with them. You may need to go a, a, a rung lower on the ladder or two, depends where you are in the game right now, right? So try and reach up, it's worth a try. And if you don't get a reply, you could keep building your list and come back until you've showed up on their radar, then they're more likely to respond to you. But if you can't get, get contact, look further down the list, find people who are advertising, ask them if they have a list, and then you could work with them that way. So it's a free way and a paid way to do that, just like with all marketing. Um, if you've got a list and you've got something of value, you could create a deal, right? You could say, let's do a swap, run the ad to your list, and um, I'll do X, Y, Z in return, or we split profits or whatever it may be. Uh, and then there's, there's the paid way where, which is most solo ads, you pay per click. So it might be 50 cents per click. It might be $1 per click. It depends on the value of the list, right? And how good, how responsive are the people on that list? How good is the market who's built that list? So there's free and paid ways to do that. Uh, another way that you could solve the problem of which list is watch my video, Best Solo Ads 2022. Uh, you can Google that um, and it should come up on the first page of Google or you can search Best Solo Ads 2022 in YouTube and you should be able to find it. That's the thumbnail for it. Watch that, that really breaks it down, where to go, how to avoid uh, lame solo ad providers, how to avoid lame traffic places, which are like, dud. they don't, they're, you're just gonna waste your money, how to avoid that and where some of the best places are, okay? Um, the second problem you wanna solve is how to stand out. So how to stand out is a big question. 
of uh, marketing overall. It's marketing 101, you know, you know, how to stand out as marketing, right? Uh, and it's a bigger conversation than this video. So I'll break it down in other videos to so keep an eye out for them. Uh, but for the sake of this video, it's about becoming a better marketer. But what you could do, uh, I've broken it down in another video, which is called Solo Ad List Building. You could watch that video and that'll break it down somewhat. It starts around uh, hooks and lead gen and how to get people into your list basically uh, and how to leverage solo ads. So that'd be a perfect video to watch for you at this moment. Check that out, you can do the same, um, do a Google search or um, do a YouTube search. And the last thing, the, bit, the biggest bang for your buck is copywriting when you're doing solo ads. So any kind of improvement on your copywriting is gonna have a profound effect on the long tail, on your profits long-term. So, but copywriting, cop, the uh, top copywriters are worth their weight in gold, right? And they're expensive. So it's unlikely you or I, or someone starting out is going to be able to access the top copywriters. They charge, you know, maybe excess of 50, 100K or more for a, uh, a great piece, a sales letter or something along those lines. So how do we shorten the curve on that? Um, one study, there's, there's a few of my other videos I recommend um, with some great resources for copywriting, but that's a process. It's a skill you need to learn and should never stop learning that skill like I am as well. Um, but how do you cut a corner right here? I'm going to give you access to a software that will help you hit the ground running. It really was a link in the description. Um, so I needed to, I had a page that wasn't converting so well, quick backstory on this one. And uh, I thought, you know, what's missing on this is such a good, uh, such a good offer. What's missing. So I went to this software um, and I've got the full, there's a free version that will give you more than what you need. Most people won't even need more than the free version. So that's for a start. Take that and just grab it free version. You can get headlines. And I think there's a short VSL letter and all that stuff in it. So it's really worth taking. Um, and then there's an upgrade version if you want to get a bit more ninja and you know you want to get if you're a bit more in depth with your marketing. There's options for both, right? Uh, but I was had this page and wasn't converting as well as I liked. The offer's amazing, so I thought let me do a short BSL. So I, I filled it in, software spat out the uh, the script for me, um, uh, all the words. I edited them, edited them a little bit. It gave me bullets. It was fantastic. The page jumped. The conversion rate jumped by twenty percent, twenty two percent, I think it was. It was ridiculous. So most definitely grab yourself the free version of this it'll at least help you get off the ground running if you get stuck with any copywriting ideas uh, links in the description grab that when you can uh, lastly as help for how to stand out you can grab my solo ad secrets video course again it's free um, i'll give you a funnel structure so this structure has been tested by all the top marketers or most of them and they're running something similar to this structure if not identical to this structure of funnel because it's it's been proven over and over over the years and i stumbled across it from studying with all the top marketers that uh, to squeeze the most juice out of all of your campaigns there should be a certain setup right um, it's like a martial art move you how do you block a punch what's the most optimal way and what's the next counter-attack move once someone's mastered it you're not going to go and try and practice and do figure it out yourself go to go to a class go to the master learn from them this is the funnel for that basically so grab that as, as a link somewhere around this video probably in the top of the comments click that i'll take you onto this page and you can grab that for free i also give you a load of free other bonuses in there as well that just help you get hit the ground running and just help you um get to a quicker roi um, which is the crux of it all, right? So that's solo ad marketing. If you like this video, got any value, please think about uh, subscribing, hit that bell button. And so you don't miss future uh, videos and content. Solo ad marketing. I hope this helps and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.